This video is a continuation of the previous video, about 3D warehouse racking visualization on Power BI. In this video, I will explain step by step, how to make a Power BI report, that displays 3D visual warehouse racking. Let's get started. Step number 1, create 3D warehouse model in SketchUp application. Create 3D model of your warehouse, create it simple, and consider about the file size. Draw all palette or boxes in all location. This is 3D model of warehouse example, you can download all required files in this tutorial. Get link at video description. After drawing all the boxes in each location in the warehouse, the next step is, to give each box, or location an instance name. This instance name will be used as the object identifier in 3D Visual Power BI. Make sure all locations are named. There is different way how to give name of location. The way I give names to each location is to give instance names one by one to each box or location. Maybe this method takes a long time, but it's easy to understand. The next step is to install 3D BI for SketchUp extension. In this step, I will install the 3D BI for SketchUp extension directly from the extension warehouse. In SketchUp application, select Window, and select Extension Warehouse. And then, search 3D BI. The result will show 3D BI interactive dashboard and reports in Microsoft Power BI, by KG Dev, click on it. Then click install button. After installing the 3D BI extension, open the extension from the extension tab. Then click activate button. Next step, export SketchUp model to 3D BI format file. Open the 3D BI extension, invisible only, check yes. In ID provider, select instance name, then click export button. Save the 3D BI file location, give the file name, click save. After successfully exported, it will show the pop-up export report contains exported ID of location. Close the extension, and check the exported 3 dbi file. Next step, download the Power BI visualization file or PBI vis format file. Go to appsource.microsoft.com, and search 3 dbi Then, click install free button to download PBI vis format file. Next step, prepare the dataset for report. This is example of dataset contains two table, table material for record list of master material and supplier, then table location for record the warehouse transaction, contain of location in for each incoming material. You can get this Excel dataset from the link at video description. Go to next step, create new Power BI desktop file. In visualization, click import a visual from file. Click import. Select the location of PBI Viz file that we already download before. Then, click open to import the visual. Now, we have 3D BI visual on Power BI. Step number 7. Get data from Excel workbook. Click get data, then select Excel workbook, then select location of the Excel dataset, and click open. Then click load button. Power BI will load the data set. We can check the loaded data in data tab. Next.
Now, we will create 3D visual of material location and warehouse. Create new page. In this page, I will create report to visual 3D material location based on material name. First, I add filter visual, to filter the material name, and then add a table, to show all material based on the filter. To add 3D visual from our location data, click 3D BI visual, set the position and the size of visual. Click agree button. Then, set the location ID as object identifiers. And for color by, select material name. Then, click insert model button. And select 3D BI file that we exported before. OK. Now we already created report using 3D BI successfully. With this 3D visual we can show the location data of material in 3D visual. Easy to understand where is the material location. Don't forget to save the Power BI desktop file. From Power BI desktop, you can publish it to Power BI service. So the report can be opened using internet browser. Click publish icon, then select your Power BI workspace. Now, we can open the report in Power BI service using internet browser. We can share the report, so we can open it with full windows and it can be opened by another users. To share the report, get the link of Power BI service report. Click file, click embed report, then select website or portal. Then copy the link. Thank you for watching. I hope this video tutorial can help you in creating 3D visuals report on Power BI using 3D BI. Do not forget to like and share this video. And also, subscribe this channel to watch my another videos. See you in next my video.